Hello everyone and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Sam and I am an Australian homeschooling mum of five kids ages 1 up to 11. And today I'm going to share the books that I got from an op shop yesterday. So this is a book haul and I'm going to jump straight in because there's quite a few and I don't want this video to be too long. So I didn't really go out uh, looking for books but there's one particular op shop that I go to that has um, a really good book section so I always like to have a look if I can and I only had two kids with me so that was great. So here they are. This is Say Goodnight to the Sleepy Animals. We have the other book in this series and that's Say Hello to the Baby Animals and this is a great one for younger children. Nice easy bedtime read and my daughter really loves this one so I will put that one on their night on their bookshelf in their room and they can choose it if they want. Uh, this one Pirateology Guide to Life on Board a Pirate Ship. This is this I was pretty happy about finding this. This goes with Pirateology which we also have and this is great. My boys love these books, the way they're laid out, the information, they love reading about all the different things. So I was really happy to find that one, that was only a dollar. Then we found this one, I Can Draw Magical Creatures. I've got a couple of these I Can Draw books. My kids do a lot of free drawing but uh, my nine year old actually quite likes um, learning a little bit more sort of technical side of it so if they want to they can choose this and play around with you know the different shapes to, to make different animals or whatever so that's that one and that's quite good actually that was a dollar uh, eyewitness seashore so I always grab these ones if I see them. This one was 50 cents and it is pretty self-explanatory. So I think we're going to do an ocean life unit study next year. We're coming to the end of 2017, so I'm starting to think about what we're gonna do next year. And I'm pretty sure the kids wanted to do ocean life, so I was happy to find this one because we'll definitely use this next year. So that is that one. We got a Ben and Holly, Holly's Ben Elf's birthday. My four year old likes um, Ben and Holly, so I grabbed that one for her. The Story of Wheat, pretty self explanatory. This one looks good, nice hard, hard um, cover book on the story of wheat. And as we are in Australia, we grow a lot of wheat here. I thought that was a good one. And we are going to do an Australian unit study next year also, so that will be good for that. We got the Tooth Fairy, which comes with an audio book, and this will be like a nighttime thing for my my four-year-old, my six-year-old share a room, so they might like to listen to that at night time. Uh, we got this one, which is an older looking book and it's on bushfires and I thought this one would be really good because where we live uh, we live in the country and bushfires there can be quite high fire danger in our area so I thought this would be a really good one to read to the kids and talk about the dangers of fire and that's that one and there's it's an Australian fact finder and there's a few others um, in the series as well which could be good to get then another DK, Watch Me Grow Panda, about the life of a panda. And we are doing, I think we're doing an animal unit study next year as well. So we will talk about animals from different parts of the world. So this will be good for that. And that looks like a really nice one and I'm, I was happy to find that one. We go One Willy Wombat, which is another Aussie one which looks great and I'm pretty sure we don't own it so I grab that for a dollar. A copy of Stone Soup. Um, this is a great story if you haven't read it before but I'm not sure we have a copy of this but this one looks different to the copy that we have so I'm not sure if um, if there are different versions of, of the same kind of um, tale or fable or whatever you want to call it so <coughs> I grabbed this 
because I thought this would be cool to read if it's a different version to the one we've got. Uh, then we got I Wonder Why Spiders Spin Webs. These are great. The I Wonder Why books are always really good, so I was happy to find that one for 50 cents. Then we have, we've got a kid coming in. Can you just give me a sec, darling? Okay. Uh, the Lion Who Wanted to Love, which I thought is just a cute little story. Now this one I was happy to find and that is um, Crash Bang Thud, a noisy story about being quiet. I, I think I'm pretty sure this is a, like a character building book and I don't know about your house but my house is very very noisy. I have three boys in a row and they are very energetic so I thought this would be a really good one <clears throat> to talk to them about So that is that one. It could not be what I think it is, but I hope it is. So that's that one. But just a little board book. I always grab these cute little board books when I see them uh, for 50 cents. This is a fairy one. Um, so I have a one year old. I like to have lots of board books hanging around for her to play with. The next one is another scholastic one and this is called I Am A Leader. So this will be another character building book which I thought is good nice easy quick read in the morning and spark a lot of conversation my son my 11 year old son was with me and he chose this one which is the Andy Griffith he was one of the authors of the treehouse series I'm pretty sure so um, that will be his one to read Another one I got is The Complete Adventures of Blinky Bill. This is an Australian classic and this is the, um, the complete, well, I'm pretty sure the complete um, series all in one book. So that's pretty amazing and we might just read one of these like every month or something. Uh, and then the last few books I got were just a few little reader style books. My six year old, almost seven year old, is, is just starting to read now so he will be moving up. And I wanted to have lots of books around for him um, to look through. So there's this one which is a dinosaur, dinosaur's book. And he will be getting to the point where he can read this very, very soon, if not already. Um, Hot Wheels, which I thought would be right up his alley. And we can read these together and then eventually he will read them. Another Hot Wheels one. And they say level one, but I don't know what, even what that really means because to me he is at level one, but he probably can't quite read some of these words. So. I would say this is for kids that can read well but not, but can't handle a lot of text on one page, if you know what I mean. And then the last one is another Scholastic Reader and that is this soccer game. And these look quite good because this is one he probably can read, there's only a few words on each page and he will be able to read this. So I usually... Um, put my readers, my, our home readers in sections in three kind of levels so that he can just choose from one basket and he will definitely be able to read that. Okay and that is my book haul, my thrifted book haul for this month and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions please ask me in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.